Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Alyssa. Let's do some chatting today. I'm going to call it the neurodivergent discourse. We're going to talk about safe foods and going out. First things first, we're going to talk about some safe foods. Before your very eyes are Trader Joe's branded uh, bao buns with a bunch of cut up nectarines. And it is summertime in San Diego, which means eating is particularly difficult. So when I'm having a hard time and struggling for whatever reason, I try and stick to foods that I know I can eat and that won't give me the heebie-jeebies, which means no trying anything new. Safe foods have a couple of different terms, but in terms of being autistic and having a food restriction and sort of an issue with eating, I'm going to refer to it as food that gives me comfort and peace and joy when I eat it and that doesn't make me feel like I'm going to spiral. What I eat is one of the very few things I have some input on when it comes to being neurodivergent. So when I am feeling overwhelmed, it's really helpful for me to eat foods that are safe for me and um, adhere to my dietary restrictions for my other disabilities. I'm stimming here because I was having a really hard day eating and that's part of um, ARFID, which is an avoidant sort of food restricting eating disorder that I have. Um, again, seek a professional if you're looking for support with that as I am just a person on the internet who is sharing like what they're going through. So here you can see I'm struggling and stimming and having a lot of difficulty and part of that is just being autistic in the way my brain is wired and some people would refer to me as a picky eater but I would define myself as a selective eater where I consume safe foods foods that bring me joy or comfort and then same foods which are like bao buns for me which are safe and same because I have grown very attached to them and I love them very much here we have an issue is the center of the bao bun was frozen. This one I took a big bite into it and ate cold chewy meat which is an immediate sensory no thanks and I had to switch over to fruit and hope for some more predictable ripe texture versus an unexpected texture. Um, Bao buns are a same food for me because I can eat them every day unless they do something like this. So thank goodness for fruit. Um, I'm also getting overheated and overwhelmed, which makes eating kind of impossible. I really fight with myself and sort of what my brain is saying to try and get myself nutrients and sometimes that looks like drinking a protein shake with vitamins and minerals and sometimes that looks like struggling until my brain says I can eat food. It varies day to day. Something that makes my food avoidance worse is the temperature. So summer I lose quite a bit of weight and my body fluctuates because I am so overwhelmed and overheated that I have a hard time consuming enough calories to sustain myself. You'll see me get tired and fatigued a lot more easily in the summer as well. Transitioning now to getting ready, I was trying out this Carpe SPF Sweat Absorbing Lasting Matte Primer. Um, here you see my face and some redness that I was experiencing because we were getting ready to bang go to a concert. Spoiler alert, we do not make it to the concert. Um, luckily it was free. So I am just showing you my makeup because I was really proud of it. I'm not wearing any foundation or anything like that. I'm just wearing the SPF sweat primer. And if you know me, and now if you don't, I'm sweaty. Okay, here is the fit. We were going with a Mamma Mia theme because we were going to see an ABBA tribute band. So peep me looking like a Greek island vision. This is where we ended up. Not bad if you're from San Diego, but we ended up having to adjust our plans because there was no parking. It got really stressful and I got really overwhelmed and started to shut down. We got a safe food that is also a same food from El Pollo Loco, which is one of their tostada salads. And I will eat this kind of no matter what. 
Um, and we just pivoted and my wife and my best friend were so good about like praising me for keeping calm and they helped make some decisions when I finally shared that I was out of energy to make decisions and we ended up at this beautiful park kind of just chilling and enjoying the sunset on a very nice weekend and although the plans were different I was able to eventually decompress and enjoy my dinner and pivot and be with people who loved me and supported me and cared about my well-being more than pre-arranged plans and I think that's something that's so helpful for me as a neurodivergent. That is some sweat and some shine. Our face has not melted off after being out for three-ish hours and about four hours since application. Here is a close-up. I'm definitely a huge sweaty person but like look I wiped it and nothing happened. I'm pretty impressed and even though today was not gone as expected we were able to pivot pretty well all right this is me makeup free um I am really lucky that it's tinted in my skin tone let's flip her. um you can kind of see I have rosacea and it's um very red all over my face um so the Carpe did a really great job at kind of everything it advertised. I'm assuming SPF, there's not, I don't have those stickers to tell. Maybe I should get them and try it out. Okay, let me know. But um, it was matte. It was a great base. I didn't put anything but powder on top of it, um, like color correcting wise. And then um, cream products for cheeks and bronzer um sorry my brain is sort of hitting a wall um pretty overstimulated anyway uh really happy with it and uh today didn't go as planned but it goes on so um don't forget to like comment and subscribe and um What's your go-to sun stuff? Have you tried this brand before? I'm not sponsored. I should be. I love it. Okay, bye.